Hello, this is Rick Guptel. This is a demonstration of Strusim. Strusim is a uh, software product that allows you to model a, a work cell using any type of robot. In this example, you were using a Motoman robot on a linear track, but you could use Kamau or Kuka or AVB. It could be stationary. Uh, it could limit the amount of uh, material you can cut. We're also using a hypertherm torch here. And we're using a conveyor system that's driven through this pinch roller system. We can adapt to different uh, configurations. We're going to read in a DSTV file of a clip angle. We can also cut bar stock, uh, clip angles, flat plate, I beams, square tubes, and stair strings. Uh, we're going to do a clip angle. In fact, this one right here is represented by this is the DSTV file for Okay, it's fairly simple. It's got four uh, ovals cut into a into a clip into this angle. Here's the definition of the angle. Uh, if you know how to read DSTV files, so we'll load that in. And what we do is we just read that DSTV file and we create this clip angle here. So this is actually a model of the clip angle that gets cut. You know, the real part will have the extending stock of this angle going through this pinch roller system. Uh, we use a uh, hypertherm torch and we have it connected electrically to a touch system so that uh, you can see that it touched and it could find the actual positions of these holes, positions of this uh, whole clip angle so that when we go and we cut we compensate for it a few millimeters off and uh, we still provide the the accuracy required to um, cut the clip angle. In this case, we cut the clip angle at the start and at the end. We could eliminate that and just cut it at the end so that we can just kind of cut a lot of these out. So let's look at this um, guy cutting here. This is the same thing of the real machine. Uh, so as we go down, we touch electrically we figure out where the sides the peak of that angle is so then when we go back and we cut the the slots the ovals then we're at the right accuracy And then here we go and we cut it off. So we can just uh, keep making these from this stock depending on how long it is, how long our conveyor is. And then that falls off. Okay, so once we've generated this simulation, we just uh, save this and it creates a okay, generates a program so here's the program that I created it's all put in this directory this is the top level motorman program here's what I just typed in here's the commands to cut those Holes of slots. And there's safe move. There's also plasma feed, which is commanding this pinch roller system on the same robot controller, same motor and robot controller. You move the stock, and then here is a touch command. It goes through and touches. Uses the touch sensing. Puts the, puts the values in different registers. All right. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.